Hey everyone, um, oh my god, my ears are damn itchy. When's the last time I did a favorites video? Who knows? I'm gonna start with the base products and then we'll slowly work our way through the makeup and then skincare. As you know, it's been super, super hot and humid in Korea, so I'm really going for those like long wearing sorts of cushions. If I want a really matte look, I'll use the Kill Cover cushion. I like this for like a really matte look um, and this really covers pores and stuff. And if I want a long wear cushion, but I kind of want a, more of like a glow, a very natural finish, I'll use the Pony Effect, um, what is this, Everlasting Cushion. They came out with a new one, the Cover Stay one, which is like the matte version of this, but I'm still obsessed. I, like I feel bad because all I ever use these days is like Pony shit, but really like... Especially if I'm gonna pay that much for that shit, I need to use it. Also from <laughs> Pony Effect is the CoverStay Foundation. Um, this is the liquid version of one that I just mentioned. Um, this one gives, it reminds me uh, quite a bit of Revlon ColorStay, but it's like thinner. And if I want to use a base, but I feel like it's too light because I do get a little bit of color in the summer, I've been using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. If I'm using it with like a liquid foundation, then I'll mix the two up very, very, very tiny, but this is in um, 106 sun beige so uh, I, if I mix too much it'll look really yellow on my skin so I only put a little bit if I need to add a bit of color to my base and if it's like a cushion then I'll dot a little bit of this foundation all over and then I'll quickly go with my cushion and then you know pat it in and it'll blend and yeah it'll deepen my foundation just a little bit um just so that it's not too like washed out you know, white face, brown neck sort of situation. I've been like really into the tip concealer from the Sam. I've recommended this several times on my channel, but number one, um, it really, this is like the lightest shade they have and it really brightens my um, under eyes because I'll put it like in the sort of Kim Kardashian sort of fashion. So I'll put it like triangle under the eyes, on the nose, up here and stuff. Um, but that's only if I'm like really going all out um, or if I accidentally put too much of this and it's quite yellow on my face. If I put that in the center, then it'll brighten up my skin tone, add some volume to the face. Also from Clio, the Kill Cover, um, what is this? The Airwear Skin Smoother Packed. I've been using this quite a bit, not like, here's the thing. With HD powders, they tend to uh, be more oil controlling, I feel, than like regular powders. But for this one, it's definitely more of like, if you wanna mattify your skin, but you're not too concerned about like longevity or if you have super oily skin because this doesn't really control oils that well but it makes your skin look flawless no pores no lines it really does make your skin look super smooth but do not count on this to um you know make your makeup hold up longer um if you just want to make your skin look smoother then this is definitely a good product but if i wanted that sort of same effect but i need like oil control then i'll def i and it's free no sebum mineral powder i swear this is like holy grail status. I just got back into it like more recently because like, I don't know, I kind of got off of it because I was using other powders, but I forgot how good this shit is. Like it's really good. It really makes my skin, I have to be careful because if I use too much, then my skin will be too matte all day and it might end up looking a little bit dry. But if I use just the right amount with like a brush um, like this, then it absolutely flawless all day for me at least, even in humidity. A tip actually is that um, I'm actually going to be talking about these cream uh, contour products. I noticed that if you powder your skin with something like this and you might go over with like a concealer or use a cream contour, it actually sticks much better. Um, I remember Wayne Goss made like a tip video where he put uh, his powder under his foundation and it actually really does work. Um, even my one makeup artist friend says the same thing. If you use that sort of powder under first and then you put like a cream product on top, it helps it last longer. So there's a pro tip for you. Just make sure you blend it up really well. I've got nose fillers recently and from the side it looks pop in, but the front you lose like the definition. So it's like, I kind of wiped off my, um, my nose contour, so. Etude House, Play 106. These are the new ones. Um, I talked about these before in one of my other videos recently. Um, absolutely fantastic color. Like this is a proper like contour color. I love using this on my jaw. I will like place it right where I want it on the jaw and, and then I'll blend it up with this sort of uh, wide foundation brush from Pony Effect. And I kind of just bring it up and it'll like blend it up towards my face, like towards the center of my face, I guess, but it won't like disappear, if that makes sense. So I'll still actually have a contour. Cause you know when you like put contour and you blend it, but you blend it too much. So it's like not even there anymore. Um, I try to avoid that. Cause I want, you know, people to actually see my contour. Sometimes it's too much, but that's just me. I'm extra as y'all already know. And every now and then I'll use the uh, stick 
contour, like this double ended one has a highlighter on the other end for like my nose or something. But honestly, I just like it so much because of the new colors that they have. So um, if you haven't gotten these Play 106 and you're planning on getting them, get number, what is this, 18. And if you want the duo one, then number two. I swear, besides the Too Cool For School Art Class by Rodan palette, this has become like my other holy grail contour palette, the Shin Stealer. I use this in like every video. As you can see, I've hit pan, which is like rare for Mr. Eddie on this channel. This one you can actually use to set certain parts of your face. Like you can use it to set your foundation basically. Um, for this one, if your skin tone is a little bit deeper, you can use this. Um, but I use these two colors for um, contouring my nose. Um, and then this really, this really deep shade is what really, um, oh my god, did I just go for my other, sorry. <laughs> this deep shade, like, is super, super gray, and it's super deep, so you have to be very careful about placing it wherever on your face, but it really mimics the color of shadows. And you can actually, what Shin does is you can fill in your hairline if you feel like your hairline's a bit receded. You can use this to fill in, like, gaps or whatever to bring your hairline a little bit down. Um, but I just, I freaking love this palette, man. Like it really gives like a proper shadow on the face. So love this. With contour comes highlight, but really I, uh, you know, I do use the Shin Stealer highlighter, but lately for like my little nose highlight right here on the tip, um, I've been getting into the Art Class by Rodan highlighter palette from Too Cool for School again. Um, specifically this color, as you can see, because I hit pan on it. But um, it's a really pretty, <gasps> oh my God, y'all see that? What is this? What is this? What the? Ugh. It's a really pretty beige, um, you know, natural looking highlight. Um, if you mix all the colors and you place it on your face, it gives you that kind of it, like really wet, almost greasy looking highlight, which I like, but I know some people don't like. But if you want more of a natural one, then the Shin Sealer one is good. But um, yeah, for my little nose highlight, I like this. Actually, let me put some on. Put some on. Yeah. Well, now I have to like contour my nose. Hold on. There we go, now I feel more like myself. And then last but not least for these face products, um, the Pony Effect, what is this? Master Contour Palette. No, Contouring Master Palette, sorry. This is in Marvelous. Um, it comes in another one, I forgot the name of it, but um, this comes with like a brightener, sort of like banana shade, uh, you know, a regular highlighter, your sort of uh, contour shade, and then you've got like this really corally, peachy blush here. And there was like a point in time this month where I was like really into like that peachy blush so I was really using this and uh, but really what I really enjoy about this pot palette which I didn't think I would really like is actually the brightener um, what I've been doing is I have this pony effect brush which is it's an eyeshadow brush which is really wide so uh, what I've been using for is like uh, what is it concealing my dark circles using this brightening powder and um it's like really good um, it really brightens up this area of my face and what I'll do is I'll take it from my cheekbones onto my nose contour and what this does is it actually makes this part of the nose look more flat and flush against the cheeks so it makes your nose look slimmer so that's what I've been really um, using it for put it here on the bottoms of my the bottoms the sort of bottom of my lip because I always saw people like uh, beauty gurus doing that I was always like does that really make a difference but it act I feel like it really does um if you brighten this part it really lifts this part of the face and I don't know I like it I'm into it next up for eyes um I've really only been using the shin stealer um eyeshadow palette specifically for uh wait this one is in screen seller there's two palettes it's the red sort of warm tones uh, but I've been really into these three contour shades. They're all matte. They're very natural matte colors, which is kind of rare for um, a Korean palette because a lot of eyeshadows are very shimmery, very shiny. And then this one I recently got into, but I'm surprised I only started using it because it's been in my collection for a while. It's the Unpretty Rap Star Monocolor Eyeshadow in Cobalt Violet. Um, it's kind of, it's like a taupey purple shade, um, but I find that it really mimics like the natural uh, discoloration of my eyelids. So so if I wanted to like contour the shape of my eye but keep it really natural and simple because it's, really, it's just one eyeshadow, I'll use this color and I'll place it on like the outer corners and the inner corners and just like blend out and it'll really define my eyes but it'll just look like 
the natural discoloration. If I add that to me, that's like a look that I like to go for. Um, I don't know about y'all, but that's just me. For my brows, which seem to have, you know, their own fan club, I guess, um, I've been really liking the Drawing Eyebrow Duo, which you guys see in a ton of my videos. But um, basically, one side is just your pencil. Um, it's kind of slanted and it has a very uh, really uh, narrow oval shape. Um, and then the other end, which is ingenious, honestly, is this sort of powder shade, which will um, sort of feather in color. I like to use the pencil side to get the shape of my brows and fill in most of it. And then for the inner parts, which I don't like to be very strong, I'll use the powder part. I'll kind of just dot it on the center. But yeah, it makes doing my eyebrows really good because the formula is quite intensely pigmented. So, um, you know, that's I prefer that. If you have trouble with your brows and you like to be very careful, I use something with a much harder formulation. But um, I have this one in gray and in, what is it, dark brown, I think? Um, yeah, dark brown and this one is gray. I used the, I used the gray today. Um, it gives me more of like a natural uh, color, I suppose. And I think this will suit a lot of like people with like, black hair. And if I want to like really define my eyebrows, I'll use the dark brown one because this is much more pigmented, I think. For lips, really? I, oh, I feel really bad for constantly like mentioning Pony Effect, but um, you might have seen this in my Snapchat. It's the favorite fluid lip tints. Now these are not the most long wearing like lip colors at all by any means, but honestly, I like the feeling of like retouch, like touching up my lip makeup throughout the day, and I do it in public. I don't really mind. But um, I have it in the color, this is the one that I just put on is in the color Do Respect. And then I have a deeper shade in Sheer Delight. Um, I like this in the center. It's basically the same color, just like more, just deeper, packs more of a punch. When you first put on it, of course, it's like moisturizing because it's like a lip gloss, but, and it kind of dries the lips a little bit, but oh, I don't mind, I just really like the color. Now for skincare. So the cleanser I really like is my holy grail cleanser right now is the Accent Oil Cut Cleansing. It's just so hard to like get a, get a hold of like online um, cause you have to order through like their Facebook page. You have to like message them and stuff. So it's like a gel cleanser, but it'll take off like even waterproof mascara and stuff. And um, so I'll double cleanse with this. I'm trying. Like, I have a ton of bottles, but I don't like to use it because I love it so much. I don't want to waste it. It's pretty it's pricey. It's pricey. But really, this has like changed my skin. I don't break out like as much or at all these days. Um, probably a combination of this and the other things in this line of skincare. But this really like. I wish I could just recommend this to everyone, but um, you know, if you're not, if it's too, if it's out of your budget. Maybe you might want to try something else, but this one, I'm sorry, this is the cleanser of my life right now. Someone in my network, um, Treasure Hunter, gave this to me. This is the Numero 3, what is this? I think the brand's Numero, and this is like their Step 3 uh, product, because it's the, like Steps 1 through like 15 or something, and they're all different skin here. But this is number 3, it's the Daylight Essence, and um, it provides moisture. Daytime repair, I guess, because it's an essence or something, and it has SPF 50. I actually like to use this as both my sunscreen and my moisturizer. Um, but lately, uh, I saw a video that Wayne Goss did about how much sunscreen you're supposed to use, um, which is actually a lot. So, um, because I use so much of this, it really does leave my skin moisturized throughout the day and gives me the coverage, like the sun protection that I need. Along with that is this, I, this is actually when I found that video from Wayne Goss. Uh, this is the one I uh, was using at the time. It's the Too Cool For School Waterfall Sun Essence. And this one is a really uh, thin but really moisturizing sunscreen because y'all already know that a lot of sunscreens I do not like because they're so drying and they make your makeup look like shit. So this one is just a really thin moisturizing type of um, very like you can see right there it's very viscous is that the right word um it's a very viscous sunscreen if that's the right word but yeah i use like a ton of it on my face and like my skin because usually when i was i wouldn't use it that much before because i feel like you know it did make my makeup not last as long but when i started using like a ton then i noticed that my skin was really um like my makeup held really well to my skin so you might want to try that with your sunscreen uh using like a, a ton i use like you see the section of my finger i use like that much I fill that whole section up with sunscreen and I'll use that all over my face. If it looks too white or ashy, just keep blending it into your skin and keep patting rather than, you know, 
you can spread it with your fingers like this, but then keep really patting it in until it's all absorbed, and you are good to go, Hunsi. Y'all know I'm all about the acetone life, and this one that I got from- I visited Style Korean's office in Pangyo, and they were nice enough to give me some gifts, and this was one of them, the Neogen Dermology? Dermology? Gauze peeling? The, the Bio Peel Advanced Treatment, this thing. Um, I know Joan really likes these, and I very much enjoy them as well, I just don't use them. I, it's like a treat for me because it's one of those ones where you get like the pads that have one side's like rough, the other side is like soft. But basically it's just like your step after cleansing, you uh, acid exfoliate. Um, you can use the rough side, I don't say rough, but use the textured side of the pad to like physically exfoliate your skin, but the actual um, juice that it's suspended in or that's suspended in the cotton uh, works to, it has AHA and BHAs I think. Yes. I'm pretty sure it does, but it um, helps exfoliate the skin, uh, it really accelerates the skin turnover cycle, you know, gets rid of the acne, or helps, helps with the acne. Oh, girl, this shit is so damn expensive, but they gave me its, uh, you know, free sheet masks and like um, all that. But this is the It's Skin Prestige Creme de Cargo Snail Cream. Oh, look at it, you get like, this huge bottle, and then look at that. <laughs> what is that? This cream is like really, it's you know, one of those snail creams, you know, they put snail filtrate into a cream and like it helps repairing the skin and all that. So I'm sure y'all have heard about it once or twice, but it's actually really lightweight for a, a moisturizer of this, of this type. And I heard its skin was like the first brand to come out with like snail skincare in Korea, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, my friend recommended this to me and I really love it. I noticed, um, you know, I, can, I try to use it every day, but um, you know, because it's so expensive, I like to save it. And not, you know, I don't use it every single day, but when I do, like, my skin is glowing. Um, and my skin is so much smoother, and my pores look smaller, and my fine lines are filled in. It's just a really awesome product. I just wish it was so Yeah, this is a really good um, moisturizer for nighttime, or even daytime. I like it because it's not super, super thick and rich. Like, it's super moisturizing, but it has, like, when you blend it, it's um, not super thick or heavy. For masks, when, like, I have an event the next day, I will definitely use the Accent Pore Control Mask. Um, I've showed this in one or two videos and also in a vlog where she put this on me, but it's just a white um, sort of pore, kind of like a clay mask because it dries and you wash it off. After you use this, my skin is like transformed. My pores are tiny, like I don't even see my pores. My skin just looks firmer, tighter, brighter, more even, and like everyone deserves one. You get one, you get one, everyone gets one. But it's quite expensive and it's hard to get just like, you know, the, in general. But another mask I like that my friend Yongguk or Edison um, gifted me is the Mask of Magnemity from Lush. Um, if you can't get your hands on the Accent one, then give the Lush one a try. I use this. And I actually used the Glam Glow. Um, I made a story time video where I used it, which I'll upload hopefully this week. Yeah, I may, I tried the Glam Glow and I swear to God, these are like the exact same thing, basically like the same, it feels the same, it gives the same effect. Um, you know, I noticed the same effects as this. My, my pores look smaller, my skin's brighter, more even, more tight, firm, all that, all that stuff. It's much, much more affordable. In, I feel like in Western countries, in Korea, this shit is so damn expensive. Like I said, if you can't get hands on this one or Glam Glow, then go for the Mask of Magnemency because it's really cool and refreshing when you put on the skin. It dries- I think the only annoying thing is like when it dries down, you have to wash it off. It's like really hard to wash off, but that's like nothing because you get such good looking skin. Edison worked at Lush and he recommended using these every other day, like three times a week. Don't use it every single day, but um, you know, use it every other day, especially because if you get the large jar, it expires pretty quickly. So. Um, yeah, I really highly recommend the mask of Magnum and Tea. If you watch my videos for a while, you will probably know from just from observation is that my lips are infinitely dry. But the one item that I honestly feel like will always, you know, make sure that my lips are looking on point and like I've been drinking some water is the Ginger Sugar Overnight Lip Mask. I mentioned this many times before, but I've been really getting into it lately. I'll put like a, a slather onto my lips every night. I try to remember to slap it, slather it on my lips, but um, in the morning it's just, I don't need to put lip balm on throughout the rest of the day, uh, but it's important that you do this every night. But um, it's really thick, just all that. Uh, it's really, it's really juicy, really sticky. So I, um, I mean, I do use it throughout, like even in the middle of the day. I don't mind, but I know a lot of people hate that feeling. So um, this is just an all-star product. It's really affordable as well. But I think it's only available in Korea. I'm not sure if you can find it online. Find it, but um, if you're in Korea, pick it up. It's from Adidas. Pick it up.
This is a very random one. I've only used it once, but I love the results so much that I had to include it. It's the Face Shop In Shower Hair Removal Cream. Now, I don't know if, because uh, when they came out with a Kakao Friends collaboration, um, a lot of the stuff was basically already released. It's just that they made the packaging like Kakao Friends themed. But I'm, so I'm not sure if this was originally there, but um, this was one of the more recent stuff to come out because the Ryan stuff came out after the original launch. But um, it's basically like Nair, you put it on. Um, I would not use it on my face. I've tried Nair on my face before, girl. First week before school, my face was burnt. It was not cute. But I put this on my, I tried this on my underarm, and then girl, that shit works! In only like four minutes, I like wiped down the hair. And now it's not gonna get to the very root of the hair, but for me, you know, I'm a boy and honestly, I feel like I have a little bit more wiggle room to get away with it, but um, I wipe it down and like all the hair came off. There's still a little bit left, like I said, because it doesn't go all the way through, but like for uh, my underarm hair can get quite thick. So, um, you know, it was it was amazing for me. And it, it's not like uh, using a razor where it'll leave it sh like blunt and like really sharp feeling. It, leave, it like softens it so like you can wipe it off and whatever's left is quite soft or whatever. But yeah, that was all my favorites. This video is so freaking long. I'm so sorry. I need to edit a lot of this. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching if you made it to the end. So yeah, make sure you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram, both of which I always link down below. And make sure you catch me live um, Saturdays, 11 a.m. Korea Standard Time on my own Africa TV channel. Um, there at Spill the Tea, I give advice, all that. And then I'm also live on Wednesdays, 11 a.m with my friend Carson on our show Cool Jamming um, or Honey Jamming. Um, that's, did I just say it? Wednesdays, 11 a.m. Um, on our Honey Jamming Africa TV channel. So I'll also link that down below. So you can catch me live those two days. Oh my God. And also I'm gonna be on a show. I don't know if I've been talking about so much on Snapchat already. So you probably already know, but if you don't know, I'm gonna be on a new show called Beauty Beasts uh, with three of my friends, Yongguk, uh, Kiyong, and Leo J. And it's basically a beauty show. And it's, it's, we've been working very hard on this, so I hope you can stay tuned and watch it. It'll be coming out hopefully second week of August. You can follow our Instagram page, which I'll link down below for you. I'm sorry, there's all these links. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, I love you. Mwah.